Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I'm back with the A10. Yesterday, I posted the question, sent it to a few places, including the incredible Facebook groups, and I got an answer. My friends, let me show you how it turned out. All right, so my problem with this was that when I turned the dial, things just never would change fast enough, and we actually got it fixed with a simple little setting. Now when I move down, like say to the move axis, and if I choose to move X, and if I go by one millimeter, as I turn the dial, it turns just like I was supposed to, many, many movements in a small amount. And the faster I move it, the more it goes. Before, as you saw in the video, it was crazy bad. So now that you know that it works, let me show you how to change your code. All right, friends, I cannot stress enough just how helpful this was. Oliver gave me this code right here, and then I went into the firmware using the Arduino IDE. I use 1.85 for my version, and I just searched encoder rate multiplier by doing control F, found the code, and I changed this 75 and the 160 to the numbers 40 and 80 respectively, just as he suggested, and boom, upload the firmware, and now that dial works exactly like I expect it to. So friends, big thing, use these groups. They are so awesome. They help with your 3D printer. Uh, me being able to put the video up here and get help, it was just totally awesome. Thank you very much, Oliver. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit the like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.